Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. So, uh, this episode I'll be teaching about, um, uh, more about inheritance basically, but, um, we're going to be learning specifically about the super keyword. And, uh, by keyword I mean just like one of these little things right here, public, static, you know, those are keywords, right? And the super keyword is very useful for inheritance. And, uh, yeah, so there's actually three uses for the super keyword. Um, well, two but you can widen it into three. So the first one will be with variables, right? So let's go ahead and make a class. So class uh, tiger, um, or no, 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 class animal will be our super class, right? So we'll put a comment here, super class. Okay, and then inside of animal, we'll have uh, just a single uh, string or something, string name. Um, I don't know what they call it. Uh, Bob. Okay. And then we'll have a subclass. So subclass. And we'll give it a class name of, uh, what's an animal? Give me an animal. A uh, hog. Hogs are cool. And, um, hmm. So the hog will have a variable of its own. We'll call it a string, um, animal hog so he's a hog okay and we'll have a method inside here we'll just call it um, um display something like that just a random method right it doesn't matter specifically what it even is and um okay and what we can do here is we can print out the the name of the animal right or the animal type, whichever one we want, because actually, no, we can't. We have to extend it first. Extends, we forgot to extend it, so extend animal, right? So now, anything inside of uh, uh, the animal class we can use in our subclass hog. So if we want to do this, we can do, we can output, um, we can output the animal's name, right? So we can do like, um, like something like this animal name. and give it a name just like that but let's say that we um, for some reason made these the same name right we have and this is perfectly valid because they're two separate classes I know um, you might think that they'll, it'll get all messed up and get an error just because it's it's extending and it's inheriting the variable from here but Java knows that um, there's two different variables right in two different classes so you don't really have an error but if you refer to name, it won't know that you're talking about this one if you're referring to this one. So what you have to do is do super dot name. So super is just referring to the super class, right? I mean, it's super, so it makes sense. Java is really cool in the sense that it, it's all common sense, like the naming and everything. So super dot name is referring to not this name, but the super class name. So if you want to refer to the super class, then we'll have to do... Um, Super dot name, of course. So anyway, so let's go ahead and um, make a new hog. So hog, well, oops, hello hog, hog one equals new hog. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, bless my soul. Okay, so <laughs> hog one dot display, and that should print out our super class name, which is Bob, not uh, hog, right? Because we're in the base class, or no? The base, um, if you don't know the base, when they say base class, that usually refers to the super class. But this will be called the subclass, of course. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so it printed Bob out, which is good because that's what we said. It's super.name, not name. So let's see what happens when we take the super off, right? So now it's not calling. We can already see it highlights um, the name inside of the subclass. So it's going to print out hog this time, right? So pretty simple, right? So yeah, that's how we do that. That's um, super class or super keyword with um, variables, right? So the second use for um, the super keyword is with methods, which is very similar. They're both members. There's what they're called members, right? And members is the variables and methods inside of a class. So yeah. So when you're using super with methods, that's usually when you want to call the parent class method, just like we called the parent class variable. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do what we did before, except we're going to have, um, we're going to have a method here. Well, we're going to, what we have to have is two methods with the same name, basically in each class, just like the, um, variable, right? Same thing, really same, same concept. 
So, yeah, so what we do here, so now um, name refers to that name and then name refers to that name, of course. So, doesn't really matter, but yeah. So, so yeah, that's how we do that. But um, let's say we want to call upon one of these methods inside of another method or just inside of this thing in general, right? Let's say we want to call, we want to call upon display inside of the subclass, right? All we got to do, of course, is just do uh, this dot display. Wait, what? Maybe we can't do that. My mistake. But if we make a new uh, method, right? Let's call it um, full display. Just, it doesn't matter what the name is, just something random, right? So we have another method, right? And we want to call upon this display here. What we can do is just do display, right? Because, you know, it's display. And right here, it knows that it's calling upon this one because you didn't specify which one to call upon. So if you're saying like display or like even this dot display, it knows that you're going to be talking about this one, right? So what you got to do if you want to refer to this one, um, all you got to do is, of course, have super, super dot display. And then now, if you click it, it highlights the one up here in the super class. So same concept with the variable and the method. So that's all pretty simple, right? So let's go ahead and call um, full display, right? Hog dot full display. There we go. So animal is Bob, because that's what we set it to call, um, of course. We're just, you know, repeating what this one did. Anyway, so Let's see what happens if we do hog one dot display. Since there's two displays, I wonder what will happen. So it calls upon hog, which I guess makes sense. I guess yeah, yeah yeah it makes sense because we're calling upon the hog subclass and it's calling directly from hog. So it's going to display that one. But anyway anyway, y'all get the point. If you want to call upon a method inside of another method inside of your subclass, then all you got to do is either specify this dot display or super dot display, or you can have direct just display by itself. But that's the same as having this dot display. Anyway, so the last method you want to use with the super uh, keyword is with constructors. Now, this is probably the most uh, complex one. It's all, it's all very simple, but this one is the most complex one, of course. So let's go ahead and have. Um, let's get rid of all this crap. We don't need this right now. Um, Okay, and then so we have these two things called out, right? These two superclass and a subclass, right? So on the in the superclass, we're gonna have a constructor. So animal. So animal, what's animal gonna do? Animal is gonna um, just print out, you know, a random message. Hi, I'm an animal. So that's great. And then we'll have another one set of hog. So hog is gonna have its own default constructor. And what I mean by default constructor, that just means that it doesn't have any parameters. So it's just going to call upon that one, uh, basically. So yeah, so hog default constructor, we'll just do the same thing. Hi, I am a hog. So just crap like that. So so that's all that's all fine and dandy, right? But let's say um, we want to call upon, let's let's make our, let's make a new object, right? So hog, um, hog, hog one equals new hog, right? So Let's look at our code before we run this. What's it gonna do? It's actually just gonna call. So uh, yeah, it's gonna print out both of them, not just one. So what it does, let's look at our code, right? So what it does, it's um, creating a new object. And as you know, when you create an object, if you have constructors, it'll call upon that constructor, of course. So when you call upon the hog constructor, it's gonna call, uh, run this code, of course, but it also is gonna um, call upon the animal constructor, of course, because um, it's inheriting that, so it has to call this one too at the default, and it's only going to call the default one. Okay, so let's say we have another um, constructor for animal. So, but first let's have this variable. So string name, and then animal. Let's have another constructor, and we'll give it a parameter of name, of course, and then uh, so hi, hi, I am a name. So like that. So what this will do, um, the same thing. It'll do the exact same thing. because so we're calling upon the default constructor. So every time you create a new object without providing any parameters and not calling super, it's just going to call upon the default constructor of the super class. But let's say we want to provide a parameter. What we can do is do something like this. We still want to call upon the constructor of the animal class, but this time we want to provide a parameter, right? So we can do super 
and then with uh, parentheses and we can provide that parameter it even tells us what we want um, so we want to provide a string of the type name or no <laughs> name of the string type string so we can provide something like this so we're gonna need one here of course so string name and then we put the parameter here so name so if that looks a little confusing what it's doing is asking for you to provide if you provide a hog constructor parameter it's going to call upon the super and what the super does is it calls upon the animal constructor here and uh, so super no matter what let's say you have this empty right what this does it does it just calls upon the default like it's already doing but if you provide a parameter for it it's going to say oh this matches with this so these these match right here so it's going to call upon this constructor right here so let's go down back to here and it wants us to provide a um, a uh, data thing, data thingy, yeah. So we're giving it the name guy, of course. So this will make a new object. And once you create an object, like I said, it's going to call upon a constructor, right? So it's going to call upon this and it's going to go to here. And it's going to say super guy. And guy, um, we're, uh, so what super does, it calls upon the constructor of the super class, right? So it's calling upon this one and it's giving it the name guy so it's going to output i hi i am a guy and then also right after that we still have this code here so it's going to say hi i'm a hog oops but yeah so let's run that so we can see so yeah it says hi i'm a guy and hi i'm a hog so let's say um we don't provide something here we're actually going to get an error because we didn't provide a default constructor for the subclass so it's pr it's a pretty simple fix all we got to do is put a default here have, oops, have this empty. And uh, we can just leave this blank right here. But um, let's see. Yeah, we can leave this. Uh, we can have the super there, or we can leave it blank. It'll still do the same thing, I believe, right? Yeah, because no matter what, it's still going to be calling upon a default constructor of the animal class if it has one. So, yeah, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. It's really, really simple. So, just play around with that. Um, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment if you need help. And peace.